Yes, it's America. And in America, there is a history of racial segregation that has been ignored for far too long. Apparently, it's being ignored not just by the grand old party of the Republicans, but also by CNN. As B.B. Winans sings America in this very arena, we had several black politicians. Tim Scott of South Carolina. We had Mia Love, mayor of Sarasota Springs. And of course, Condoleezza Rice. All of these black Republicans spoke of the opportunities presented in America. And at the same time, there's almost nothing said of the racial disparities or this incident. On Wednesday, former Secretary of State Condoleezza Rice spoke to a cheering crowd. She received a standing ovation. However, that black female camera person who was racially assaulted was ignored, her voice silenced, and as Miss Rice spoke of her overcoming obstacles, the fact that her mother said, although you cannot have a hamburger at the counter of the Woolworth stores because of segregation, you may one day grow up to be president. Unfortunately, Condoleezza Rice's story does not take into account the four black girls who were killed by Klansmen who bombed that Birmingham church in September of 1963. As the Republican Party speaks time and time again through all of the very eloquent speakers over the time period of this convention, in the back there is a ghost haunting those who have failed to remember this country's history when it comes to racial segregation and racial inequality. Fannie Lou Hamer is the person who paved the way for people like Condoleezza Rice, Tim Scott, Mia Love, and yet it's as though all of those lives and all of those livelihoods lost in the effort to gain equality for black people in this country meant nothing.